So I finally released the city generator. I have been working on this one for months now and it has definitely been the most difficult generator to put together. But the city generator is now available on Blender Market and Gumroad and here's a short video on how to use it. So these are the city generator files. So let's open up Blender and go to edit preferences to add-ons and install the zip folder. Just click install add-on and let's enable it and save the preferences. So let's close this and in our viewport if you just hit N we have this city generator tab right here in a side panel. All we have to do now is click import city generator or you can append it to a active object. So this is basically just a plane with a geometry node setup. All we have to do to edit the city is to go into the edit mode of the plane and every face will basically just become a building. So let's select one of these edges and extrude it and this will create a new building. We also just can add a loop cut right here and you can easily adjust the city by manipulating the mesh this way. You can also use K to activate the knife tool and cut in a road like this. You could also for example just uh, create one plane and add a array modifier in front of the geometry node setup and create a city like that. So this is what it looks like in a render view. So let's get into the settings in the side panel. You can activate a low poly preview which will increase the viewport performance for large scenes because all of this detail can become quite heavy on your system. So in the building settings we can isolate the buildings, you can adjust the minimum and maximum height of the buildings and control it with a random seed. You can also activate or deactivate the height based on face size. Right now you can see if we increase the size of the face the building also becomes taller. We can decrease the division, so this effect will become even stronger. But you can also deactivate this and now the height will be purely based on the random value. Randomize building shape will take the shape from just being square to something interesting with these kinds of extrusions. You can control how many edges are affected by this with the probability slider. And you can control the extrusions with a minimum and maximum. And you can also add more subdivisions to this. Randomize C shape will add this kind of structure on top of the buildings. You also have a probability slider for this again. And you have control over the height of the individual layers. You also can control the assets scattered on the roofs with a density factor and a distance minimum to control how far the assets have to be apart from each other. There's also a distance to edge, so the assets won't overlap over the sides of the roof. In the settings of the facade, you have a random seed to control which assets are on the building. Some of the facade assets have a layer 1 and 2, and with the mixture you can control how much of which one is going to be used. You also can control the density of fire escapes. There are also some advanced controls for the facades. You are probably only going to need these settings if you want to add your own assets. They will need a bit more explanation. So if you want to know how you can add your own assets to the city, I linked a separate video in the descriptions where I explain how you can do that. So let's go to the street settings. We can isolate the streets. Here we have a slider to control the scale of the streets. You can control the distance of the buildings to the streets with this building space slider. The corner radius controls the rounded edges. So let's open up the section for the road markings. Here you can decide if the roads are double laned or single lane. You can control the distance to the intersections, the length of the lines and their width. You also have a few controls for the zebra crossings. And the roadside section controls these parking spots on the sides. You can also control the size and the density of the manhole covers. There are also controls for the sidewalk like the height, the density of these scattered assets and the distance between them. There are settings for the street lamps, the offset of the traffic lights and settings for the trees. The probability slider of the parking car section controls on how many sides there are parking cars. The lead cars controls how many empty parking spots there are. And you can control the distance these cars have to each other. You can also add a bit of randomized scaling to create some variation in the shapes of the cars. So let's move on to the traffic simulation. You already can see that if we play back this animation from frame 1, there are already driving cars. So we can also click isolate traffic. So the simulation draws paths between any two points on the outer edges of the mesh. And the cars are going to drive along these paths. So you can increase the amount of paths that are generated. And you can also change a random seed for these generated paths. We can also increase the amount of cars in the scene. 
always make sure that if you change something go back to the first frame because the simulation has to start all over again. If this number is too high the cars are overlapping each other and you will have to wait until the first cars in the line will drive away until the simulation has cleared all of these overlapping cars. You can also change the start position of these cars. I would recommend to set the start position so the cars won't be in the near of the traffic intersections. You can also change the car minimum and maximum speed. If you click show the traffic lights as points, you can see these points where you basically can see where the cars are stopping. So if you increase the traffic light speed, you can see these points are flipping on and off a lot quicker. So if you change the traffic light stop distance, you can see these points are moving and the cars will stop a lot earlier before the intersection. As you can see, the wheels of the car are also turning and this is using the model from the car collection. So if we open up the collection, we can see there is a car model with the wheels as a separate object with the origin point in the middle so if we rotate them on the y-axis they will turn like they are driving so if you want to replace these assets you have to keep that in mind and you will also have to adjust the position of these wheels in the with these sliders here so here's an example how i would use the traffic simulation so let's isolate the streets and open up the traffic simulation settings so let's increase the amount of paths to something like 10 and change the seat so we have some good path variation. Then I'm going to increase the amount of cars. So if we increase the start position just like that, we can see that this will cause a lot of trouble in the intersections. Because the cars from the different paths are all in the intersections and are not allowed to crash into each other. So what I would recommend doing is to decrease the start position. Go to the simulation settings of the scene and check use simulation range. Now we can change the start to minus a thousand, so the simulation will start a lot earlier. And I'm also going to increase the speed of the cars. So now we want to bake the simulation, but before we can do that you have to save the file. Now if we bake the simulation, it will start to bake it way before our animation. Now if it has finished baking, we are a lot further in the simulation progression and all intersection animations are working properly. Now let's go to the material settings. Here you can change things like the scale of the mask that is changing between different road patterns. You can also add some puddles and change some settings for the tar lines. You can also change the color of the road markings and you have the same kind of controls for the sidewalks. You can also change the random seed of the brick texture that is being used, the brightness variation and normal and bump strength. You can also change the colors of the cars. Basically, the more space a color has on a color ramp, the more cars are going to have this color. And you can change all of these colors. So you can see if we give green more space, more cars are going to be green. So let's turn off the light. And in the light settings, you can check the night lights. This will turn on all of the street lights. You can see that all of the cars have now a spotlight in front of them to create this emission. The problem is that these spotlights cause a lot of noise in cycles rendering. So you can check fake car lights. This will basically just put a alpha image in front of the cars with this kind of texture which will create the illusion of car lights. You maybe have to increase the transparency value in the light path setting because these are just image textures with transparency and will turn black if the transparency value is too low. You can also change the random colors for the street lights. We can change the contrast of these two colors and change one end of the spectrum to something like green and the other one to red. The maximum value will change how bright the light is in the spot and the minimum will change how much light is going to emit in all directions. For example, if we set the minimum to zero and decrease the spot size, there will only be light directly under the street lamps. And you also have the same kind of color settings for the car lamps. You also can control the lights of the windows. The light probability will change how many windows there are with lights in them. So this was a quick overview on the city generator. There are still a lot of things I want to add in future updates and a lot of things I want to improve. 
like adding a park to a defined face or adding different city types inspired by different cultures. There are also a lot of improvements I want to make to the assets and I want to continue working on the traffic simulation. But if you get the city generator now all of these updates will be included in the future. So follow me on my social media platforms to stay updated on new features and updates. The city generator is now available on the Blender Market and Gumroad.